There could only ever be one worst woman in Sydney. Oh. Morning, Mrs. Lee. You're looking well, Mrs. Devine. Mm, mustn't grumble. <laughs> It's a very handsome dog you got there, Mrs. Lee. It's a Pomeranian, I believe. I found him wandering willy nilly around Woolamaloo. Do you know this boy? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You know the royal family are Pomeranians. Oh, for afternoon tea, you mean? On toast. Imagine the pups this little fella give you. I'd be pretty dandy, eh? Mrs. Lee, I don't suppose you'd mind terribly yeah, I if I. I don't mind giving you the loan of him, I suppose. Can't stand the thought of giving them back to their old battle axe. I bet you she don't even stand up when they sing the national anthem. <laughs> You're plotting something. No. Tilly had no intention of returning Kate's prize Pomeranian stud dog. She'd keep him for herself, and with the help of chemicals, disguise one of her own infertile inbred pooches and give that one back instead. Simple. Excuse me, Mrs Lee. Uh, Tilly says thanks very much for the loan of the Bonza dog. And here's a box of chocolates with her compliments. Hey, you, my little bit. You? Hey, you. Hey, you. Stop it. Get out here, you thieving pommy bitch! Octopus, knock the fucking door down. You know Big Jim keeps a 303 under his bed. Hey? Yeah? I'll do it myself, cowards. You both sacked. Piss off. I'm trying to have a fucking snooze. Oi! Knock it off or I'll call she the cops. Pinch me, dog. I I never did no I'm such thing. Back. You've got bats in the belfry. Nothing but a common thief. Hang on a tick. Got it! Oh. <laughs> 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 I was going to suggest you kiss the maid up. Oh. Now you got yourself an enemy for life. Big Jim Devine was right. Kate was way too proud to ever forgive Tilly for trying to pull the wool over her eyes. And that's how Kate and Tilly's decade-long feud started. Over nothing. Over a borrowed dog. <laughs> <laughs>